Good evening. How's everybody doing tonight? Good. I had a little technical difficulty, so I apologize for having color, but uh, black and white will suffice. Uh, this particular deal uh, was a four-bedroom, two-bath, single-family home in Sanford, and uh, why, it was a good deal, why it was a good deal for us is we were able to negotiate seller financing at 0% interest on a 10-year note. So this particular property will be free and clear at 10 years, 120 months from now. Uh, the, the, the general background, this property is renting for twelve fifteen a month. It's a Section 8 tenant, which I've uh, talked to other people in the past, and some people have good things to say about Section 8 and bad things. Our experience has been good, uh, considering that this four-bedroom house qualifies. It, it was eleven sixty five a month when we got it under contract, and we've since increased the rent uh, to twelve fifteen, effective uh, September 1st. So, and there's a long line of uh, tenants in Sanford, in the Sanford area, under the housing authority that need housing and that will qualify for this type of rent. So uh, it's, it rents for twelve fifteen a month. The tenant's been in place for two years, and we just renewed a lease prior to closing for another year. So she wants to stay long term. I would too if I was only paying a hundred of it out of my own pocket. Uh, the expenses, uh, vacancies, taxes, insurance are about four ninety a month. It leaves a net operating income of seven twenty five, and we are paying the seller uh, five hundred dollars a month. So that leaves a net cash flow each month of two twenty five. Uh, to get at this deal, we uh, we got it uh, at ninety, just under ninety three thousand, and he's carrying a note of seventy three thousand. So we basically had to come out of pocket nineteen and, and some change with closing costs. We came in just under twenty two thousand, and while it was a little more than we had uh, anticipated or, or wished to put down on it, it's still giving us a cash on cash return of just over twelve percent, um, and it's free and clear in, in ten years. So. It was a little more on the down payment. That was a negotiating point that uh, we, we had to, to, had to give on. Uh, he was willing to give us everything else, so we decided to come up a little bit where he wanted to be on the down payment. So 12% is not great, but it's not terrible, depending on where your money's parked. And uh, just some highlights. Uh, zero percent interest rate on the note. Uh, every dollar is going to reduce principal. Um, if we were to finance this property on a 15-year mortgage at current rates, you know, we'd probably you know, be at a 15-year payoff and paying a little bit more per month, so it saves us about five years roughly on the payoff with everything going towards principal. Uh, reduce the closing cost dealing directly with the seller. We didn't have to go through appraisals, bank fees, points on a mortgage or anything like that. And uh, because it's a Section 8 tenant, again, uh, 1100, what is it, 1105 is direct deposited into our account directly from the housing authority each month. The tenant's only responsible for about 105 or 110 dollars of it, so we've got very little exposure on, on uh, lack of payment and she's been a very good tenant for two years, and we kept the same property manager in place to keep continuity there as well. And, uh, and in, in exchange for getting our down payment, we uh, also did a rehab recently, which we're going to net about 20000 so hopefully when we close that, we'll be net zero out of pocket on this deal and own it free and clear in 10 years. What do you guys think of uh, a couple of shout outs to the CFRI members who helped us on this. Uh, Chris McClatchy, you're going to hear from here shortly, uh, helped us negotiate the deal. John Bolton, who's uh, giving the props. He did the inspection on the house. <laughs> and also uh, Joe Siegel, uh, an attorney. I don't know if he's here tonight, but he handles our land trust and, and such as well. So uh, three members of the CFRI group uh, helped us on this deal. Now, why don't you tell, uh, I don't know if you mentioned it earlier, you're also a CPA, right? Yes. So tell us about what made this the most attractive part of this deal were the numbers. Although it's a big amount of money down, the zero interest paid off. Literally, right. For me, because we had the simultaneous deal going on a rehab that we were going to net about 18 to 20, I was okay going that, that much down because I knew on this other deal we were going to be able to put that money back in our pocket through a rehab. So net, net, when we're done with that transaction, I basically put that money in through a separate rehab back in my pocket. So I will get my money back another way. And that's our plan is to add buy and hold properties to our rental portfolio and do rehabs throughout the year to, to replenish our out of pocket that we do do on these types of deals. So this deal works for you because that's the type of investor you're doing, you're buying and holding. Buying and holding. Everything we're doing is on a 10-year plan to have everything paid off or close to paid off in 10 to 11 years is everything we're working on right now. So this one fell into that time frame. The numbers worked. We're not looking for immediate cash flows. For, the, for us, the 225 a month gets set aside and invested. We've got a little bit of a balloon payment at year 10, which that will more than cover. And uh, so this is all for uh, we're trying to build cash flow at the 10-year mark. So for us, this will be generating $725 a month in cash flow after the notes paid off. How many people like this deal and why? Tell me, is this house, the one off Sanford Avenue, behind the car wash where you do it yourself? I don't know where the car wash is, so I couldn't tell you. Mm -hmm. is it, is it by the, uh, Any questions? Why did the owner... 
I'm sorry? Why did the owner pay a very zero? Uh, we, we overpaid for the house slightly. He had it marked above market value, but for us the value is irrelevant really because we're more focused on the cash flow uh, and what the cash flow is going to be at year 10. So we're willing to overpay a little bit on the property to get the terms that we wanted. In this case, uh, the cash flow is positive and uh, the cash on cash return isn't terrible. And again, we're getting our cash out in a separate deal. And in 10 years, it's free and clear. and We're netting net operating income in today's dollars of $725 a month with a pretty long line of tenants because the housing authority has a list of about, I think, uh, 2,000 people right now, last I checked, of, that need housing. So uh, keeping it rented should not be a problem, especially at the rates that they pay out of their own pocket. Uh -huh. How's the tenant? Has the tenant been in there a long time? Tenant was in there two years. Uh, her lease, her second annual lease was expiring at the time with the negotiation, so part of our deal was to get it renewed, a new lease put in place as part of the closing process. So. She renewed, and we did an increase with the housing authority at the same time because that's done annually. So we were able to increase it $50 a month. So we went from 11.65 to 12.15 uh, at the time of closing. Okay. Tax value? I don't recall off the top of my head. Robin? How long have they been trying to sell the house for? You made your offer, and how did? How did the negotiations for the owner financing go? Were they open to it right away? Will you repeat the question? She said, how long were they trying to How long was it on the market and how, and how did the negotiations go? If I recall correctly, we had a lot of offers going on at the time. Um, I think it was on the market for less than three or four days. We got our offer in quick. It hit the MLS and we were right on it. The negotiation, he accepted immediately on all terms, except he wanted about $35,000 down. I was at about 10000 So we went back and forth. He didn't... Uh, he didn't uh, he conceded everything else is the term, the rate and everything, so we gave a little on the down payment knowing we were going to be able to replenish that money on a separate project. Yes? If your monthly cash flow includes your payment your property? Yes. Management fee is in there. We kept the management place so that the expenses, uh, and these are hard numbers, actual numbers, tax, insurance, 10% management fee and repairs. Uh, it's a fairly new property. It was built in 2007. Uh, John inspected it and one Woo! out of... Out of the, how many inspections I've done with you, this is the one that probably didn't result in the bombshell. <laughs> so I was so I had to jump right on it. When John says it's good to go, I jumped on it. <laughs> yes, back here, second row. Did the owner have a mortgage on it? I don't know. Uh, my understanding was he was a developer who had lots in different places and built homes uh, back before the, the, the downturn of the economy. And after he got them built, he got them rented and then was selling them. So I think he owned a free and clear. Um, I presume he did. This type of government um, housing, what's the expected increase in rent for you? The, the, my understanding is it's based on factors uh, outlined by the housing authority based on the current economics that, and, the, and the, also the ability to pay of the tenant. So there's two factors that go into it, local area factors plus the individual capacity of the tenant. So if another tenant comes in who has a higher ability to pay and their finances are better, I might not get as much rent, uh, but anywhere above 1100 is, is pretty much sustainable right there. So you expect to stay there 10 years? Uh, yeah. All right. Thank you, Tony. You guys like that deal? Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much.